what a view it is up here by the way proper little slice of heaven out here don't be trying to battle too much effort just calm it down lad <sighs> making this very very hard so we are on fire three three get that right birdies on the spin guys exciting one today season three episode three of in the red we are still in california and we are at this spectacular golf course it is the grand del mar 18 holes a tom fazio golf course and also it's home to me and my golf now they've left england they're based here and this is where they're doing all their coaching we're going to head down to the first tee tell you a little bit more i am excited to get out of here but i'm just going to go and have a little practice before we get out there because it is looking unbelievable out here so episode three let's go Right, so a little bit about the golf course before we head out. 7,160 yards off the bat. It's been designed by Tom Fazio, who is the designer of Adair Manor, which is gonna host the Ryder Cup in 2027. And if you've seen that place, that is special. So already I'm getting the vibes that this is gonna be special. It's a par 72. The greens at the minute are running at 10 and a half and they look like they are absolutely perfect. So. I think it's going to be generous off the tee, but I'm not as confident as I was around Shadow Ridge, but I reckon one or two under. If I get that today, it's a good score. Let's head out onto the first. I think it's a par four. Let's get this mission started. So the first hole, 346 yards. It's going down into the valley straight off. A couple of bunkers, one right at the front of the green at three, 330, I think it was, and then 320 to clear the next one. But even if I end up in those, it's not the end of the world. If I can smash it down there, I hope I would get somewhere pretty close to maybe being on the green, which would be a nice, nice little start for us. But let's let's see how we go. Seeing it bounce a little bit out of the neck wasn't ideal. Ah, Got bit by something as well in the process, but should be okay. 50 yards to the flag. And I've got a bunker about four yards shy, so not my ideal one. Want to try and keep those goals as well. Trying to keep 10 fairways today, four birdies, and break par. This is not a fairway hit to start off, but I've actually got not a bad pitch, so. It's not the worst miss in the world, it's just how it comes out of this grass. Oh, that came out draggy. That is such like, that's all I've struggled with really over here. When you're in this stuff, don't know how hard to hit it, feels like it's just gonna come out dead and horrible. And then you get one that just brushes, so you end up putting a little bit more into it worrying. And then I do something silly like that, just air mail the green, but Hey ho, it's by the side of it, should be a fairly simple up and down. Not your best work, Senor Friar. Not your best work. Sit, sit. Oh, it's gone down the slope. No. Oh my god. I thought that was going to check up loads then. Oh, this has made a little bit of a fool of me, this first hole. I thought I was going to knock it on, one putt. Here I've now got a 20-footer snaking uphill putt to save par. Wowzers, right. Let's get out of here with bogey at worst. <laughs> it's my, uh, is the play. Crikey. Tentative. Well, that was the worst display of golf wedges you will ever see on this channel, hopefully. It was absolutely pathetic. But what a lovely start to the round. Do you know what? I don't mind, because sun's shining. Place looks incredible. I know I can only improve from there. I can't make any more daft mistakes like that. We've got 17 more holes to go. I'm going to do it in the red. Comment down below. Is it going to be a successive one last time? If you've not seen that one already we got it done we got it done are we going to see 
episode three be just as successful. Our second hole here is 462 yards. Dog leg right to left stroke, one straight out of the gate. A couple of bunkers down the fairway. I think they're easy to get over. 298 and 281. So, got to be a good drive, but there my line with a little cut, ideally. Let's see if we can get a good one away, a bit better than the first. And then we're, we're off and running, it is downwind as well, so that's helpful. Just cutting off them. Hopefully misses that one on the right. Yeah. I think you could sell that tee shot to a lot of members. That was pretty decent. Right, we have found the centrist, most centrist part of the fairway. 151 yards down the breeze. I'm just going to hit a good, nice normal nine iron. Nothing to do. Don't need to go crazy with it. It's downwind. Pin looks like it's on a bit of a slope at the front, so if we keep it in and around it, we should be looking at a good chance at our first little bird dog of the day. Well, I've pushed it a bit right of the green and it seemed to stick very quickly, so I think it's pin high, should be okay. So just a little push in, I'm just literally two paces off the green, but it's a serious bowl down here. I need to get it on here with a little bit of spin so it doesn't go racing off. If I were to put it, if it was just a tad too heavy, it would be going away with some serious speed. So just on the green and let it bite and then let it trickle down is the play. I was leaving that short that was I executed that that's like the best chip I've hit since we've been in California I think probably because of the slope and everything I could see it what I needed to do a bit more I'll tell you what though I'll take that that was fun I enjoyed that one right little par settles the nerves get on to the third and see if we can uh, keep up a performance like that just make sure I'm aiming correctly for the irons and we're golden baby this is a roaster toaster up here, isn't it? 550, 565 yards is this uh, third hole, par five up the hill. Bunkers at 222, 247, 277 to get over. We can see those, so just smoke it past them. And we're good. Oh, I've pulled it, get over that trap. Get over. I think we carried it. I think I should be good there, which is good. A little bit pulley, but looked like it was bouncing. If it does, it all kicks that way by the looks of it, so we might be a little bit lucky there, folks. We did get lucky there. We got over the bunker, and it's bounced down. I've got 280 yards up to the... Uh, or 275 up to the middle, 255 up to the front. It is downwind. The only thing that's probably a worry is a little bit of, of the bunker up on the left but everything's sort of funneling towards the the green so I'm going to give it give it a dig here the ball's below my feet downwind 28275 middle why have you done that Matt it's actually not made the trees and just pitched on top of the grass hill but that was a silly shot. Should have laid up and wedged on, but bravado got to me. The old bravado. See if we can find it up there. Right, not the place to be. Ball is in the bush there. You could maybe argue that I would, could take an unplayable, uh, a free drop because of the path, but I'm going to take an unplayable because it's been lucky to find it first off, so it would have entered here. So we can go back, keeping the flag in line and take our drop. So leaves me a 82 yard shot now to a back tight right pin. 
and this is now going to be my fourth shot not what we wanted after a decent drive but you live and learn you live and learn come on 54 wedge it on be a good number well we've still got an outside chance of the par now that pitched in close and had a little bit of zip on it good thing about tight dry fairways and soft greens you get a nice little bit of purchase on them see if we can save the ship here save it that bravado when it gets you should have just known it was tight down there knocked it down wedged it on and taken my chance but no you can get there go on a little devil on your shoulder whispering in your ear. Oh, it's clutch. It is clutch. Playing on greens that are like snooker table gives you so much confidence because if you've got the line and you've read it well, as long as you hit it there, it's going in. It's going in. I'm happy about that. A little five save. Whew, let's, let's keep it going. Let's settle down now. We just need some fairway green couple of putts fairway green couple of putts for a few holes and then we can try and pick up a few birdies when we can don't be don't be trying to battle too much efforts just calm it down lad our fourth hole is 480 yards nice little dog leg left to right right to left sorry bunkers down on the left and the right of the fairway there's two at a really good driving distance that are 289 and 333 and they bank the right and the left so the one at 289 is the one on the left i'm just going to play a little bit right of that with a cut and then i'm hitting down into the fairway from there and should be should be good from there oh no pulled it again should be okay that shouldn't it looks like the fairway goes left yeah, it was just on the edge of the trees, wasn't it? A little bit pulley again, which wasn't ideal, but wasn't a bad miss. The flag's 211, but the front is 179, the way it's sat. Hmm. I don't want to bite too much off it. It's a little bit into the wind. I think if I just hit a seven iron out of it, I'll probably get a flyer anyway. It tends to come out with not as much spin here, but just play up the right if it turns great. If not, not the end of the world. Doesn't look like there's a fire over there. That's just marine layer coming in. Hopefully it burns off. But yeah, if we can get this front edge, then we've done okay. Go on, have enough, have enough. Go! Not sure, might just be in a bit of a bunker that. Just a little bit pulley was the right club. Just started a tad left. Got a slight bit of pull going on today, but I'm sure we'll figure it out and keep everything intact. Just caught the trap. I was aiming to get up onto this part of the ridge here and leave myself a longish putt, but whoop, wasn't to be. Now I've got a bit of bunker to cover and a bit of height but it looks like it's very nice sand to play out of. Oh, pinched it too much. Ah, too clean. Not my best start, this. A little bit shaky. A little bit shaky today. Not what we want, folks. Right, not ideal half an inch left on the sand then we would have been okay but tricky little shot now out of this got to play it a bit like a bunker shot knew i was going to do that go right sit right one, two, three, four, five. This for a nice double. Of course, 
course it burns the edge, of course it burns the edge. Awesome, triple bogey from nowhere, from only having a, uh, a seven iron in and actually trying to play safe golf and hit it up the right, little pull. Obviously the bunker shot and the duffed little chip wasn't great, but tell you what, it'll humble you sometimes, this stupid game. Lovely course though, that's the uh, annoying part, coming to a lovely course and playing like I've never held a golf club before. Hole five is uh, 310 yards into a little bit of wind. Got to keep it up the right because everything's falling to the left and this is a time now where I need to get the foot down, stay patient. It's only one hole. If I stay patient and just tick a few birdies off in the next few holes, then we'll be okay. There's a few holes where I think that is possible. I've just obviously got to put back to ball in the correct manner, so. Let's uh, let's get this. We've even got a nice little breeze off the sprinklers coming in now, which is quite divine. Let's. Uh, the only trouble I've got to worry about is greenside traps here, so it's not not the end of the world. But let's get one out there. Fade for me, and that is right on the stick. Stay, stay. Just short on the fringe, just short, should be a simple chip and putt, but we know what happens when Fry is in town and we're talking about simple golf shots. We try to make them as hard as possible. Hopefully that is not the case here. Right, just 20 yards shy. Quite a knock that into the wind really, 310. The wind, I think I've maybe underestimated it a little bit today. It's quite quite strong now when we stand here obviously it's sometimes we've been sheltered throughout this course so i think that's one area i've got to be a little bit more aware of as we're uh, we're playing throughout the round but 20 yards up to the front setting nicely just got to try and get this one in close and try and guarantee that birdie sit 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 Pretty happy with that, pretty happy with that. Just a little, little bit of green to work with. And I've managed to just sneak it in, so hopefully we can roll the, the blade well now. That would be a nice little get back after the upset of the last. Not a lot in that, not a lot in it. The greens are unbelievably pure. Nope. Feels like today's not going to be my day. Right, our six hole is 180 yards to the flag. It's pretty, pretty close to the back. Only 185 to the back. Into the wind, so I'm just going to hit a little six iron. Seven iron would normally be the play, but it feels like there's, like I said earlier, that little bit of wind hurting. So just a cutty one of these should be, should be the right number. And then from there, let's see if we can try and piece some pars and birdies together. Please be the right number because it's all over the stick. Oh, it's just drifted. Looks good, about 20 feet. That was a bit better, a bit more of a thought out shot and a bit more well executed. I think those first six holes, just a bit scrappy, just not quite normal self that I've seen over the last few days. I've struck it pretty well, just struck directionally off and putting not been as confident, maybe a little bit tentative. So if, if we think of this as the next, next six holes now, if we can maybe knock one or two of that triple off and then the next six holes, maybe knock a few more off, I think we should be okay. But great golf course, it's unbelievably beautiful around here and it's one heck of a, uh, in one heck of con condition wise it is spot on so let's see if we can go and do it some justice a little bit shy it almost felt like it was going to be pin high that one but it's a dance floor that's all we can ask for at the minute keep getting a little bit of regulation golf going is is what we need bit of rego bit of right to left in this mamacita Sit, 
stay up. It was a good roll, just broke a tiny bit earlier than I thought that one, but take a three. Take a three and move on. It's a tricky par three that, coming over all that sort of scrubland as it were with all the bushes in it, that would scare a lot of golfers and to get on the dance floor, have a put a birdie, I'm pretty happy with that. So on to the next, let's keep it going. That was six holes, let's tick them off. That's one of six, let's move on. A little bit of a friendlier par five, the um, seventh hole, 470 yards. Plays is a little bit of a dog leg right to left. There's some bunkers out there on the right, which is the main worry, 280 to carry those. So if we can get past those, get in the fairway, hopefully we should have a pretty good look at getting it close in two. Let's just get it on the fairway first though. Pulled it again. Right, just going to play a little provisional because I'm not sure how much the fairway cuts in there with this stuff that you've got to get over. So let's see. Always the second time, isn't it? You hit the shot you want. That is perfection. Stupid game. Well, another pull has resulted in another penalty drop the ball just in the water hazard here. So I'll take my little drop, which leaves me now 220 up to the middle of the green. I'll be hitting my third, so it's, at least it's not three off the tin. I'll be going in with four, but still a bit annoying. Not quite at the races today. Need to get that cut working. Just got a bit of a closed club face and it's causing all sorts of issues. Maybe get that right hand completely over the shaft underneath it. It's that far over. Finally, a shot I intended. Maybe just kicked off the green, but it uh, was looking like it was pitching on the front and running up to the back left corner. Might escape out of here with another wonder par. Who knows? Tune in to find out on this next segment of Matt Hacks It Round. This is a bit of a, uh, hit it pretty much pin high, but I've got a little tier, a little shelf to get up on top here. See if we can get it in stone dead and then run away with a par crying. Turn, turn, slow down, slow down, oh my God. Making this very, very hard. Very, very hard. Well, I'll take that as a two putt and a par. Proper get out of jail card, that one. But at 470, my other drive, my provisional, I only had about 190 in, which I should be capitalizing on holes like this, but just need to get that little pull sorted and then we should be good from there. Eighth hole here, par four, sweeping up the hill, dog leg right to left, 454 yards, bunker at 260 up the right and then one big one that's 312 to get to and then it's um, about 320 to clear so I'm just going to cut it towards that and we should, should be okay from there, I just need to get this cut going. That is A1. Finally found a feeling. Only took eight holes. Just gonna hit a little nine iron because it's one, four, seven to the middle. So I can just choke off on this. Don't wanna be short, that would be the worst thing. I know it's downwind. Is it downwind? 150 uphill. Hmm. Just a little one of these. Not my best strike, but it's okay, it's not spun back off the green. That would have been highly annoying. I did the right thing. I stayed with my nine instead of switching down to wedge. 
I've pitched it up near the flag, sort of pin iron. It looks like it's spin, spun to the front edge, but we're up there. We've got a chance. Let's keep it moving, moving. Perfect spin control, some would say. PGA Tour-esque, pitched it by the flag and spun it back to pin high. What a player, what a player. Brackets slash chopper. Crikey, that was only a few dimples away from me having an absolute meltdown. That would have really rattled my cage. That would have really taken the biscuit. Come on, could do with this now. Could really do with this. You ever get that feeling when it's not meant to be your day, when it catches quite a lot of the hole and then just jumps out? <sighs> Today's that day, folks. Today is that day. Uh, another par, though. You've got to be happy at pars, haven't you? <laughs> Smiling and enjoy it. I'd love to be like two or three under round here now because it's that pure. I feel like I'm doing it a disservice by spraying it round like so. But that's the name of the game. Got to keep going. Maybe the back nine, we can do what we did in the previous episode and right all our wrongs on the back nine. Game of two halves, I hear they say. Don't know who they are, but they say it. Right, our ninth hole is playing 150 yards today. A par three with the green sloping from back to front. A little bit downwind, so 9-iron gets me all the way there. A little bit beyond and then hopefully screws back into the hole. That would be an ideal outcome here. Oh, pulled the knackers off it. Get over those traps. Right yardage, just shut the face. Got the terrible pulls today. They're really plaguing me, but that's golf. You've got to love it. Luckily, a little bit of local knowledge. I knew that it would all feed in from there. Pitched up on top and I've actually got a pretty look, good look at par, uh, birdie now. Didn't think that was going to be there. Let's see if we can do something with it. At least I hit my line. Right, nine holes in. No birdies, one bogey and a triple. I would say probably the scrappiest nine holes we've had this season. We need to make sure we're getting a little bit tighter. Driver needs to be better, irons need to be better and the short game needs to be better. As a whole, everything needs to be better. Um, I'm actually quite impressed that I'm only four over par after that triple. I thought mind would have gone and I would have lost everything, but four over, we can definitely shoot four under on the back nine if we get it going. So let's knuckle down and get it done. So it's a new nine, it's a new day, it's a new dawn. 355 is the uh, par four tenth here, up the hill pretty straight there's bunkers all the way down the right hand side to clear them is 255 yards so if we can uh, just keep it up the left with a little fade should have a nice easy little pitch on is the plan see what we can do why have I hit a draw up there why oh bounce on the path and drop down next to the red stake. Oh, where is my fade gone? I've had it all week and now it has deserted me. Right, found my ball. Also found another. It's quite a bountiful round for collecting golf balls. Everyone seems to be in the rubbish where I'm hitting it. Luckily it's red stake, so just get a drop out sidewards. I've only got 85 yards. Knee drop. So this is gonna be my third shot now, so. 
need to uh, need to up and down this really because can't really afford to drop much more. It's got to go. Go on, chase. Just that yard out, yard out, and we were good. Could really do with this going in. Bit uphill, bit left to right. Such a nice green to pitch into that from a fairway. Hey ho. Come on, Matthew, head on. It's just bobbled out right and picked up speed. Probably should have chipped that looking back at that. It was a little bit, a bit tough to judge the pace out of that, but. Well. If I just didn't have all these penalty shots, it'd be an okay round of golf, but we've not. We've got loads of penalty shots. And at the minute, that moves us to five over par, not the start we wanted on the back nine, but keep smiling or you'll cry. Ah. Right, our 11th hole, a par three, very strong hole, 215 yards to the flag today downhill though so it's only playing about two, 205 there is a bunker all the way up to the left side of the flag and that looks like it's about five yards shy so about 200 to cover that so I've got a nine, a nine iron I've got a five iron out just going to play a little bit right of the flag maybe towards the the center of the green Pulled it again. Right, found the path. Probably my saving grace. It does look a little bit square, this golf ball. Now it must have taken quite a few bounces down there, but uh, ball was there, no nearer. We'll go. That's probably getting nearer, actually. Probably a bit towards the carts is a little less nearer. Knee drop. Right, this needs to be pinpoint accurate, otherwise it's not going to be good. That is so bad. My golf is proper rubbish today. I've left, I think I've drained the Cali juice out of me. It was all good for seven days now. We've got the eighth day turmoil. Playing the best course we've played and I've decided to hit it the worst. Gotta love the game, man. Turn, please turn, please turn, please turn, please turn. Why is everything like just on the edge of one ball away? Another bogey, six over par. I've done well of not counting my score all week and then now when I'm having a breakdown I seem to be really conscientious of what I actually am because my worry is now of not breaking 80. Maybe even 90 the way this is going. This course has severely beat me up. I can just hear the army uh, planes just swishing by here from the local military base which is pretty cool some typhoons or fighter jets or whatever they are but this 12th hole they've actually got their uh, extra hole here you can see the green just perched over the water so if there's a hole closed they have another one here as well but this is a par five it's uh, 600 yards from back here there's a bunker at 280 up on the right and a pretty generous fairway hopefully I can find this one because I've not done my 10 fairways. I think I've done about three this far. I need to make sure I am better this nine. Feel that face getting open. Come on. There we go. Where have they been all round? Where have they been? Ah, when you hit it good, you hit it good. When it's bad, it's been disastrous today. Right, 295 yards to this one. It's a bit blind. The green is up there. There's a lot of bunkering around, but do you know what? I didn't come here to lay up 
I'm going to cut it up the left hand side. It is downwind, and if I can keep it up the left, and actually hit a shot I intend, I could, could maybe bounce up near the green and have a comfortable little pitch, or it could go disasterly wrong, but who knows? Let's see what we've got. Oh, that's the best shot we've hit today. Big kick. Yep, should be about 30, 40 yards shy of the front of the green there. Might actually have a look at birdie if I can hit an half decent pitch, who knows? Don't hold your breath though, folks, because I've been nothing but a disappointment. Well, we only have 10 yards up to the front of the green and it's literally pitched and stopped. We need some links bounce out here and I could have got home, the old big dog, but good thing is it's a heck of a green. So I've actually got about 40 yards up to the flag now. So little, sort of pitch and run shot, get it halfway up the green and it should trickle on down to near where we want to have a tap in. Sit. Wow. He's actually hit three shots in a row that could be passable as golf shots. It's, it's a crazy time I know in this video because at no point did I look like actually a golf player or a golf pro. But this 12th hole, the longest one on the course, has decided to bring the best out in me. Unbelievable scenes. Still got to finish the job though. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, I know it was a long time. 12 holes and the first birdie comes. There is light at the end of the tunnel. We just need to pay the meter so we can keep it on because a lot of points during this round, you would have said it was going off very quickly, but let's move on. Let's see if we can keep this form going. Four golf shots, wow. Amazing, Matt, amazing. Right. Ooh, bit of a tasty one, this one. 445 yards up here, a couple of bunkers and the uh, the end of the world to drop off on the right. So given my current form, being birdie, I should probably just lace it down the middle. There are a couple of bunkers. What are they playing at? 263 to get over and 258. Guessing the 258 one is the one just up the left hand side we can see. So I think that's a good line because anything right here is very much dead. So a little fade off that, if I can get the fade back, that's all I need. Nope, little toey pull. Actually won't be too bad though. Sounded like it hit that tree. Just in the canopy of it, so hopefully we've had a a nice bounce. We shall find out very soon though what a uh, what a view it is up here by the way. Look at that as a as a vista. Some of the homes are unbelievable. Proper proper little slice of heaven out here. If we can keep the form going now of that last hole I think we should be good. Um, I'm three holes in on the back nine. I've dropped dropped one shot. Ideally, if we could pick up two shots, if we get two back, I think that would be a, an acceptable round. That would be okay, given how much trouble I've put myself in. I think if I played again, the front nine, I definitely wouldn't hit driver as much. I'd probably hit it into a few more pockets and have maybe a longer pitch in instead of trying to go at everything. But you live and learn. Right, so we've got our ball. We have had a little bit of fortune from our old Tory Pine friend there. Has come down here, but I'm going to be stood on the cart, so on the cart path even. So one club's length. Oh, what a lovely lie, what a lovely lie here. Let's see if we can take advantage of this little play here. Wow, even that's still, wow, look at those houses, oh wow. Uh wonder if me and my golf are living in there. P 
his and Andy's gaff side by side there, like, like Ant and Deck living next to one another. Great, great content, great producers, great performers, live side by side. Anyway, 154 into this flag. Quite a bit of breeze in that air. 165's an eight iron, so with a bit of heat it goes 170. Knock the wind off, I think a good one of these is about right because it's pretty far back there. So what I don't want to do is chip a seven iron and end up getting a bit of a flyer and I'm dead. Turn on, turn on and get going. Yeah, probably could have got away with seven, but was just fearful that over the back of that green, it looks very much like the end of the world. So. I didn't want to be doing that, but little two putt, take it off a tough hole like that. Love that, it was a great idea. Well, a better result than we actually thought there because of how the light was and how the undulations were. You couldn't really see the white part of the flag. So the black part made it look as if the flag was about three yards from the back, but it's not. And now I've only got about 18 feet for another birdie. Let's see if we can follow up with a back-to-backer. Oh, the back-to-back -back king is in, folks. We will take that one. We will take that a little birdie birdie spree. Takes us level for the nine. Oh, don't mind if I do, sir. Don't mind if I do. Hole 14 is 360 yards going up the hill, bunker at 230 on the left and one at 270 on the right to, to the start of them. It's just a little cut up the middle, get a nice one away and hopefully have a little pitch and try and keep this little flurry we've got going on here. Let's see if we can get it flurried to the maximum. Let's get McFlurry on this bad boy. Got another one away. Oh yes. Fairway found. Let's get flicky with the sticky and tap that nippy. Fairway found here. We've only got 90 yards up to the stick now. Whoa. The green is uh, 40 yards long and the flag's um, three yards off the back. So I'm actually only... <laughs> It's only 60 to the front, so this has gone 300 yards nearly, 280 up the hill. Yeah, I've got 90 yards at it. Let's see if we can get one in close. Oh, skinny, sit. Back down. This could be the best thing to win ever. Looks like it's... That potentially could have gone in, you know. Oh no, it's about six foot away. <laughs> Just a little bit apprehensive of how that was sat then, so didn't quite find the bottom, but first bit of luck. Oh wow, look, eagle. Actual eagle. Right, come on. My gosh, I don't know what has happened this back nine, but we are on fire, folks. We are on fire. Three, three, get that right, birdies on the spin. Do you know what the difference has been? I've found the fairway on each one. I've not been in a bush dropping it out. So that's all I need to do, hit it in the fairway, make a birdie. Simple as that. Right, I think we've got four holes to go. The dream is on, folks. The dream is on. Can we just finish with a crazy birdie spree? Right, 15th hole. Um, we're up on the Grand Tee, as it's called here. And I can see why it's the Grand Tee, because the view around is just that. It's very grand. It looks incredible up here. This hole's 410 down there. Some bunkers 298 and 303 to clear on either side of the fairway. But don't get much better than this. And um, if you are this far in the video, just hit a little uh, sub button because it's thanks to you, people like you who are watching now, that we get to come to great places like this. So hit, hit it, hit the like, and we should be able to show you more places like this. But 
let's see if we can carry on the birdie fest just going to smash driver down here hopefully get one away and then a little flick on oh, roofed it like an absolute donkey stay shy of the trap well wasn't a shot deserving of this tee but it's down there and I've only got maybe 150 125 in so let's see if we can keep going keep pushing on back nine under par and who knows who knows right 120 yards i've left myself hopefully we can get this one close it's a nice yardage from a 50 degree so green light is very much on Please have the biggest kick left ever. Nope. Terrible. Well, the birdie streak is very much over unless we get a miraculous chip in because that was absolutely pathetic. That is not a good leave, Matthew. Tricky one now. We've got a little bit of a down slope then an up slope, so I've got to make sure I carry it. But it's out of this funky little bit of grass. Oh, not again. Bites, 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 bites. Just can't seem to get this shot right out of this stuff. Just get a little bit heavy handed each time. Right. We need this to go in. We need this to go in. Come on. I know it was a bit bold, but come on, please. Flag was out, that was in all day, you see. Ah, oh, it's a sloppy bogey from 120 there. That is very sloppy. But we've got a par five and a little par three coming up, so hopefully we can nick a couple back again, get, get a good solid end to it because to be fair, this back nine after a shaky start has been okay. We just need consistency has been the key today. We've not really had any ebbs and flows, but that's golf, folks. That is golf. It's a stupid game. I don't know why we all play it. Views like this, probably. Par three next looks uh, hella, hella naughty. Hella naughty, folks. But... The 16th hole is 476 yards. It's a par five, it's a tight little one. Some water down near the green, I think, behind it, but let's just focus on getting this egg-shaped artifact in the fairway. It's not egg-shaped, it wouldn't fly, but anyway, come on. Let's just get it in the fairway. Looks good. Yep, just down the right edge. A little bit blindy, covered a bunker, but all gravy out here, all gravy. Off we go. Right, little bit of fortune here. It feels like it's rolled down this little bit of embankment. The fairway sort of feeds in from side to side here, but I've got 180. Feels like it's playing uphill, maybe one or two yards. And it's a little bit into wind, so I'm not going to quite get a seven iron there. So I think just a six iron at the centre of the green with a little cut should be a good play for me. Should be a good play. Oh, well, call that one a tad heavy, folks. Perfect layup, though. I've got about 100 yards. I actually hit that a good six inches behind the golf ball there. I think you might be able to land the plane that we're going home on in that divot. That was terrifically rubbish. Right, 70 yards. I, I did intend to hit that one 110 with my six iron. I think I can just get a bit more aggressive with the pitch now, you see. Didn't want to try and have an eagle putt. They're boring. They're for good players. I'm in the fat business. Let's see if we can get this in close, though. Diggy, stay, 
not bad not bad about 15 feet i thought it would have gone a bit right because the ball was below my feet so i guarded against that and it it didn't do as i intended but that's pretty much been my round today nothing really has gone to plan my birdies have been pure pure fluke i think but that's golf had to be a birdie didn't it <laughs> good drive fat way fat six iron dodgy wedge holds the putt makes the birdie i've still not had a par on this back nine yet it's quite impressive but now we're going to have one of the hardest holes on the golf course i think par three over water it's even got a name the grand gauntlet let's just take a look at what we're going to be playing here the 17th here is known as the grand gauntlet the tee we stand upon is 217 yards away from the green that has water starting from about 50 yards in front of me and running all the way up the left hand side with a very slopey green so if we get away with three here i'll be very happy i'm going to hit four iron let's see what we can muster up here take that that's the best shot i think i've hit today middle of the green could have done with it like getting up a bit further and swinging around but you know can't be a beggar or a chooser here because that is a, a high quality shot if we go and knock a two in here i'd be a happy little rascal i would let's see if we can get it in close Saw that really swinging. Almost good that it hit this little pitch mark because it took a little bit of sting out of it. But I tell you what, any time you walk off with a three there, I would imagine you've done pretty well because that is one heck of a par three. That's one of the strongest par threes I've played in a long, long time, that. Doth thy cap to you, grand gauntlet. Doth thy cap. Off we go. One hole to go. I don't think we're going to get into the red unless I hold my tee shot. But who knows? Stranger things have happened today. But good to see that we've actually got a back nine that's under par instead of the dross that was the front nine. Our 18th hole is 421 yards. You play to a water, a green that's got a waterfall behind it. I mean, could we be any more in dreamland? We've got a bridge that's our aiming point. There's a bunker down the left that's 247 to carry, then a couple upon the right. We shouldn't go anywhere near those, but they're 272, 90. Let's see if we can get the fade to go again and try and finish with one more birdie would be nice. One more birdie would be a, a nice finish. No, he's just hit a toey pull over the trap, but that's actually not the end of the world there. I think there might be another bunker past that. <sighs> Just not had this thing on a string like I have all week. But not the end of the world. Not the end of the world, folks. We've loved being out here. Just not the scoring part, but the course has been truly amazing. And uh, yeah, let's see if we can go and finish it off with another bird. Well, we have found the fairway. I don't know how many I've tallied up. I've, I've lost count, even though it's been such a small number. I feel like I've hit six fairways, I want to say. Um, but we've got 125 up to the flag. It's a bit uphill, so it's playing about 130. Just going to hit a nice wedge in here. Let's see if we can end in style. What a backdrop that is. Nice waterfall. Clubhouse looks sensational. What a place. What a place. Hold your line. Oh, look good. Just drifted a tiny bit right, started out right on it, but I reckon I've got a 10 footer for a final little bird stang. I feel like I could go and sit in that fountain. It'd be very, very refreshing. Do they offer that as part of the membership package here? A weekly plunge. That would be a nice little deal breaker. 
little down the hill, little right to left in it. Come on, come on. Stay up, stay up, he's going to drift. Ah, that would have been nice. That would have been nice. Well, folks, we didn't get it in the end. Three over par, 75. But do you know what? For how bad I played there, I'll take that. We're off to another golf course very soon. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Make sure you hit us a sub. Go follow out these guys. Thanks for having us down. I'll see you in the next one. I'm going for a dip in there.